Part two of why women can't fry an egg. Hold on. All right, so. Here we are. The chefs are making a killing, but this is going to be really good in the end for the good chefs that are making a killing right now, selling plant-based protein products that are pre-made and all you got to do is heat them up. But I want to continue to the Italian because this was a real, real scare. And we saw it coming, the nice people of the West. When the Italian women lost their traditions, going back to the Roman, the Romans, I mean, we're talking... A millennia they lost their tradition it's in my written written here you can read it of, of mothers like the Italian mom this is like pride the Italian mom was the cook and she would always teach a son you know and the sons would try to vie to see who was mom's little protege it was it brought the family together and the sons would have a, a competition. Oh, I'm mom's protege. But there was always a son that cooked with the mom. And that son, you know, would be the guy that you married. And he liked to cook with his wife. But not all the sons exactly did that. But the Italian family was really cool like that for thousands of years. And um, so there was always a son that cooked. And this, this brought the man into the, to the cooking environment. The Eastern Indians are still like that. The Eastern Indians and the Chinese are still like that. But they haven't forgotten that the mom does cook at home, folks. It's how your biological composition is made. You can't rewrite the wheel on your biology and science. You just can't. But that's what brought the fall of the West. Because they insisted they could. It brought complete disaster to my, uh, where I live. I'm from the West. I have to have this on. It's Sunday. It doesn't matter. It never ends here. So the Italian mother was just this iconic Maria, or whatever you want to call a term. Mama Maria. I don't know. I, uh, it's too noisy in here for me to try to recall things. You know what I mean. When the moon hits your eyes like a bigger pizza pie, that's amore. And all the Sinatra songs. Sinatra was a really good guy. Don't believe all this Western crap about Sinatra being a gangster and a mafioso. That's the West trying to take everything that was good and claim it as mafia. Sinatra was not a mobster. I will, I will discuss the Rat Pack, and I will discuss Sinatra, but we can't get into it. Sinatra was a really cool jazz musician, and you have to realize what time era he was from. Sinatra's not a mobster from 2024. All right, so you have the Italian woman who now does what all the American women do and British women do, and French women do, and start crisis in their household because someone asked them to cook an egg. When you lose the Italian mama, mama, mama made the spaghetti. When you lose that, oh fuck, I'm running to the hills. I'm running to the hills, and the West is fucking collapsing, and you know it. And we have. Now you have these Italian women who are all just acting and behaving as prostitutes, shouting at anyone who expects them, in their terms, expects them to cook. That, you know it, dude. Run to the hills, okay? The Italian woman has officially stopped cooking spaghetti. There is no more pride or tradition associated with it. Your nuclear families and your families have gone to complete caca, crap. In Italy, I would run to the hills. Nobody's even cooking in Italy anymore. They don't know how to make garlic bread. They don't know how to make spaghetti. They don't know how to make... Uh, just list all the Italian. They don't do it. They take offense 
and they yell at the husband for not taking them out to dinner seven days a week. And they yell at the husband for expecting them to cook it. They'll just buy it ready to eat, pre-made in the bag, and they'll heat up the bag once they get home. I would run to the hills. I'm telling you, I've been telling you for six years this stuff, and I was proven right. So the good thing about this is once the West falls, China and India, after a brief conflict, carry on with Israel and other countries. America's one of them. There's other countries, okay? Um, science of plant-based products. Plant-based products are totally awesome, okay? And people are going to mix those in with their meat and their fish. It's, that's what God wants. That's what the great creator wants. Whatever you want to call, um, you know, your, your king alien. You want to worship aliens. Whatever it is, okay? Pick something because you're not it. You are not it and you're not reinventing the will on the earth. If you believe so, you will not survive. It's called survival of the fittest. If you really believe you can do that, you will die. I don't care. The earth is better off without you. So these new plant-based products will be made. And these young kids are like 12, 14 years old, 15 years old right now. They're going to become prodigies. They're not already for these chefs working with these science food labs for the plant-based products. What I mean by plant-based products is you're not gonna have to buy it pre-made. You're gonna be able to buy that protein. Protein, whatever it is, it's a soy-based protein, a tofu-based protein, so on and so forth, and you can actually cook it with ingredients. You don't have to buy it pre-made in a bag. This is crazy what happened. Go down the store aisles at Whole Foods, you will find only pre-made items. They don't cook from the source. They don't know how to make anything from the source. You, all the customers at Whole Foods are frightened and confused when they go into the actual vegetable aisle. These are acclaimed, they claim to be uh, vegans and stuff. When you see them actually in the vegetable aisle, they're looking scared and confused because they have to actually cook that vegetable and they don't know how to do it. So they go running back to the packaged plastic frozen aisle. That's where they know how to shop in order to survive. It's all about eating, okay? And our civilization is now over, okay? So go watch them, because when they're in the vegetable aisle, they're confused and frightened, and you can tell. And they just grab things kind of fast and confused, like a banana or an apple, and they don't really know what to do with anything else. Okay, so this is that. Now, um, yeah, so basically, I'm gonna devote myself to some econ classes and I'm going to help set these programs up and work with countries. These countries listed here have really big populations, which is more the merrier for people like me. More the merrier. Okay, so it's, it's, it's more uh, calm. I can't even call words. It's more money. World. I don't know words right now. It's embarrassing. It's more big world money going around the world on computer the more people okay and on computer food program is good and big good it's a big good thing okay um now here is in written statement a total and new government had to be installed in this continent, America, in order to do this. Because the ones here, it's been made clear what they're about. Violence, tyranny, and hedonism. It's collapsing. It does not sustain. Okay, and the last bit is just more reports of what's happening at this property. All right, which I'm not going to go into. And besides, I can't even talk about any of it. All right, but I am supposed to go ahead and just do a two part video of what's happening in the US and Europe for people who are not here, who are frightened because these assholes here 
like to um, threaten everyone else with their weapons of mass destruction. They like to say, like, Vladimir Putin got into this because he wants to be an American so bad. He doesn't achieve that. He dies, Vladimir Putin dies a traitor to Russia. That's what he dies as. He never gets to come here and be an American. Um, but the really evil people want to be American with the big American uh, weapons and go use these weapons on everyone else in order to have the mother as prostitute, the mother yelling at everyone about bananas and eggs because she is prostitute and antisocial criminal population. This will never sustain, which is my point at hand why Vladimir Putin dies as a traitor to Russia. It never sustained, it was a very bad plan. All right, adios.